waiting for closure or justice when you have been betrayed by somebody in business at your workplace in your personal life um, they are selfish they are abusive they are toxic they are narcissistic and if you are waiting for closure from them justice uh, karma to act, you know it's a futile effort because it's um, while karma will definitely act and I've done many um, courses and videos on that but this closure and justice and then realizing what they did to you and then coming and apologizing to you understanding the pain they caused to you is not going to happen it's uh, it's natural to want validation and <clears throat> acknowledgement of our pain from those who have hurt us but in the case of narcissists and toxic people and selfish people and uh, this is very unlikely to happen they lack the empathy and they're not capable of recognizing the harm they have caused or they're too selfish, so focused on their own selves that they do not wish to acknowledge um, any pain they have caused to anybody just because they were trying to satisfy their own egos and satisfy their own needs. Now waiting for them to realize their mistakes and apologize is only going to prolong your suffering and keep you stuck in a pain a cycle of pain and disappointment. Now furthermore, our need for their validation is a reflection of our own insecurities and a desire for approval. Now we must learn to love and accept ourselves. I have a fantastic self-love course to connect with our own needs and emotions and to give ourselves the approval and validation we seek from others. We're perfect just the way we are and we do not need someone else's acknowledgement to validate our worth. Now so closure does not always come in the form of an apology or acknowledgement of wrongdoing. Closer is recognizing the ways in which the narcissist gaslighted us, the way in which this toxic person betrayed us, the way in this uh, cheater cheated us, disrespected our boundaries, disrespected our contract, disrespected uh, the relationship, disrespected your personhood, your needs and feelings and fail to fulfill their part in that relationship, whether it was business, whether it was the workplace, whether it was an elder with a younger, or whether it was your spouse. And closure is not waiting for them to give you closure, but it's just accepting yourself that the relationship was not healthy, it was harmful, and you move on from that thought. And work on yourself and stay focused on your goals. Now, we need to give up this false hope, right? It, comes this need for closure comes from this false hope that one day they will realize their mistakes and come to us to give us the love and respect and you know everything else that we deserve however it's very important that people are unlikely to change uh, the very fact that they could act in such a way with you it's sign enough that they're never going to come to you to apologize it's not going to happen because for them to apologize, they'll have to deal with the, their own shame of misbehaving with someone, mistreating somebody so bad. And many of them are so selfish, they're just so focused on themselves that they just don't care the, the effect that they're having on you. And waiting for them to come and realize is only going to prolong our suffering. And in fact, it's highly possible that while you wait for that closure, you will continue exposing yourself to their attack. And they will continue manipulating you and abusing you if you give them the chance. And instead of waiting for closure or justice from them, you, it's more important to focus on your own healing and finding happiness in other areas of your life. And also focusing on your own vulnerabilities that what in the first place got you trapped in those things. And we have, I have an entire course on that to recognize your own vulnerabilities and work on them. Now, I remember working with a one-on-one -on -one client who had just gone through a divorce from a narcissist and and she felt very guilty and wondered where she went wrong and at the same time she held on to the hope that one day that person would realize his mistakes and come back to her now after a few months she heard that he was getting married again and that made her very upset and angry but that act of his forced her to give closure to herself and she had to sit down and actually write down how his behavior never changed despite her multiple requests, despite her allowing him to chip away aspects of her personality, d despite her trying to adjust in so many different ways. He just never cared about her needs and feelings and how he gaslighted her at every step of the way. Now, the truth is, the closure we seek is every time they have cheated us, they have disrespected our boundaries, ignored our feelings and needs, 
not played their part in their relationship betrayed us and waiting for them to realize their mistakes and apologize is like waiting for a miracle that may never happen instead find solace in meaningful relationships around you nurture yourself and most importantly remember that you have we all have god's unconditional love and acceptance and instead of waiting for closure or also karma to get them karma will get them karma is getting to them and they're never going to tell you that hey i did this to you and karma got me that's not going to happen find solace in meaningful relationships around you in nurturing yourself in god's love for you surround yourself with people who love you and support you engage in activities that bring you joy focus on your goals practice self care practice self compassion grow in your spirituality and find comfort in the belief that god loves you unconditionally regardless of our flaws and mistakes so what bigger validation what bigger closure do we need here and ultimately we must recognize that we have the power to heal ourselves and move forward and we do not need someone else's approval or validation to do so so if you're struggling with closure from a difficult relationship from a betrayal uh from a narcissist from a toxic person uh in business in at home in family at work know that you're not alone take time to reflect on your experiences acknowledge your emotions and give yourself the closure you deserve don't wait for someone else to validate your pain and experiences you have the power to heal yourself and move forward with love and compassion also get the coaching support you need at ease we have wonderful one on one and group coaching programs that you can um check out uh, if you're already on our programs great if you're not you can check those programs out if you're looking to heal yourself rebuild yourself master yourself understand your weaknesses overcome them work on your vulnerabilities heal yourself holistically heal and grow whole grow and glow then please consider joining our coaching programs a lot of people tell me oh wow well, you know it's too much money but you know what it's probably like uh, probably you will sacrifice one uh, dinner with your family or do a little less shopping in your life in order to do the much needed deep inner work healing work that you need to work on yourself and a lot of survivors have started thriving in their lives after our programs and i see such wonderful transformation happening in their lives and we also have a beautiful support group of people supporting each other and i'd love for you to be a part of that too so if you're looking for a systematic program if you're tired of those past memories those past triggers those past fears and if you really want to come out of them that you can live to your full potential be happy healed and whole then consider getting a coaching program as well yes so i look forward to serving you there and definitely work on not waiting on closure but giving that closure to yourself